Well, Richmond and Collingwood were in much the same position as Hawthorne and Carlton. The Magpies, grand finalists last year, had started with only one win in three matches and really needed this one badly. The Tigers, who missed the five last year, had started well and had won their first three games to be second behind Hawthorne only on percentage. They were contrasting positions for master coach Tom Hafey and the novice Francis Burke, who learned most of his craft under Hafey in his Richmond days. Well, the value of playing at the major grounds can be seen in Richmond this year. This was their second trip to VFL Park and they'd played twice at the MCG. On Monday, they had 90,000 for the Essendon game and this week, 60,000 for Collingwood, making a total of just on a quarter of a million spectators at their first four games for the season. Amazing. We join four minutes into the first quarter and with me, Doug Hayward and Ian Cleland. Centre wing position, Teasdale contests and Dunn won this one. Shaw can't take it. The tackles, well, she's on the ground. The free kick is to Welsh. Peter Welsh named on the interchange bench but started in the 18. Up towards half forward flank, almost to Roach, but he has the ground skills to recover. Wiley on his own. The kick in Wiley's direction and a mark. Kink too slow to do anything about it. And Robert Wiley, a brilliant performance last Monday at the MCG when he kicked seven goals, has a chance to lift this game out of mediocrity. Hasn't been a goal scored in the opening 14 and a half minutes. Wiley with that chance from 40 to 45 metres. He misses two. Just incredible football here at the Waverley Park because we've played 15 odd minutes and there's been six behind scored four to Richmond and two to Collingwood. Chance for Peter Welsh. He's going into the open goals and this is the first major of the game, is it not? Yes. Comes Teasdale and Dunn into clash. Neither gained much purchase out of that one. Punched up by Lovell. Richmond Everett. Oh, Pickens' head was almost pulled off. And he'll take the free kick. And centre half forward is William Pickin. And he's pretty often done well when placed on the forward line. Kick to full forward. Clears a big back chance here for Craig Davis. Couldn't get good for ball. Great tackle by Greg Strawn. Picked up by Wood. And Wood kicks. Wood's kick finds the boundary line. Just out of the back pocket. Behind half back flank. But Greg Strawn has played a couple of top games for Richmond this year. Brought Craig Davis down when a goal looks set. Great play by a defender. It's on the half forward flank for Collingwood. They trail two behinds to ten. Teased out front. Morris Rioli. By G. Who said he wasn't a little bit slippery. There's his kick up here towards the centre wing. And Waitman took that a bit easy. He has been paid the mark. A hand pass to Cloak. Cloak circles round. Gets around his opponent. Kicks it up, not very well delivered. He can do better than that. Colin would have got it on the half-back line. What an atrocious kick. It falls in the hand of Lovell. Bill Pickham. Down at centre wing position, roaming far and wide. Nobody to kick to, but the umpires found a free kick. It wasn't against Pickham. It was shepherding by Miles against Brian Wood. And Wood will take the free kick on centre wing position, which takes the mark, of course, away from Pickham. Oh, low kick by Wood. Bouncing ball for Bartlett. At the back of him, Roach. Taylor. Hand pass to Anir, who somehow, somehow gets it out. And Kink, who reads the bouncing ball. Around Wood he goes. Left foots it. Not, not a positive-looking kick. Straight onto the chest of Rioli in the centre square. Not a bad player, this youngster. 15-metre penalty in his favour. This will take him up towards centre-half forward and a good, long, raking kick. And he's found Taylor. And Taylor's well within kicking distance. Good play by Rioli. And this fellow is only 40 to 45 metres out. Bit of an angle. But uh, he has made his mark in reserve grade football with plenty of goals. And uh, he and Roach, two-prong attack. And there's the good kick right up into the goal square. And it looks good. Two goals to Richmond. Makes him two forward. A Collingwood two behind. Richmond getting on top, 16 points to two at the 18 minute mark. Williams to centre half forward. Shaw, clever tap to Pickett, who burst straight past Malthouse, but a terrible kick by Bill Pickett. That's not unusual, and a mark to the uh, Big Al. 
Al kicks it back and Peckham tries to grab it, but it couldn't. Tony Shaw battles in hard. And no doubt, Morgan, the umpire will come in and ball it up. Billy Pickham's got another think here. And uh, we'll see the ball up on the half forward flank for Collingwood. And they trail two behinds to 16. A free kick going to go to Big Al Martello. He's on the half back flank for uh, Richmond. And this will be his fourth kick for the game. And he's played a pretty serviceable first quarter. Played, a, played about 200 and something more games than uh, Aitken. <laughs> and I reckon he outsmarted him then. Yeah, and Aitken looking very like Robbie Walls there in camera. As Martello kicks downfield, Cloak is the target. Well played, Moore. Cloak strongly away with it. Caught. Caught from a good tackle. Waitman. Lightning pass to Dunn. Teasdale tackles him. Welsh is bolting downfield. He'll be caught by Williams. Sends it down towards that full forward zone. Taylor. Well, that was much. a better mark than the last one. That was taken under real pressure from Brian Taylor. And an excellent mark. And this one should be easy for him. He's kicked one. Strong mark, Douglas. It was an excellent mark by Brian Taylor that time, and he's only about, the man of the mark, about 12 metres out from goal. So it just depends how close he comes in the man of the mark. Doesn't come close, but doesn't need to be any closer. Kicks his own second goal, and the Tigers third. At about the 20 minute mark, they lead 3 4 to Collingwood's two behinds. Richmond right on top now, having kicked three goals in a row to nothing. Allen out of the centre, a left foot kick to half forward. Dacos trailing in the race with Landy, who's been a good defender. Landy gets a bad bounce, helps Dacos. Hand pass back for a teammate running past. Miles, kick for goal. Close. Oh, hits the post. That's close. It's more than close, it's cruel luck. But, uh, oh, I thought he miskicked that to himself but he grabbed it again and he's kicked it down towards the half forward flank there's a chance for Teasdale oh, Shepard it foolishly it's foolish play by Teasdale must go a free kick to Richmond it'll be taken by Rowland who's been the target of three uh, free kicks that's his fourth kick for the game and it's a mark being paid to Collingwood <laughs> it's a very little cuss with this Michael Taylor He's on the half-back flank. It's a super mark. He's watching Bartlett at the moment. Got the big fellows behind the chances there for Waitman Williams. Lovely ball control. Look out range. He'll be picked up by Byrne. Dodges him beautifully. Out to Wiley. Wiley's got tons of room. Gets a good bounce. Over Moore. He should go, but he doesn't. Left foots it down towards that full forward zone. Roach was the leaper this time. And they're diving on top of Taylor in the thick of it. Bartlett intercepts brilliantly. Off he goes again. Turn. Hand passes for the second time in the match. Now it goes to Rollins. Rollins down towards centre half forward. It's fierce football, and the umpire's found a free kick, and I think it's going to go Collingwood's way. Atkin to take it from centre half back up to the centre of the ground. Teasdale's been good. Taylor with hands to it. Comes off to Dunn from the centre circle. Oh, great lead by Taylor. He's got it again. Brian Taylor within kicking distance. even though he is a long way out. He's not going for it. A lead by Cloak. Peter Moore is 10 metres behind him. Somebody must have been about 30 metres behind Taylor. Someone will get a severe reprimand for that one when he led. Not too sure whether it's better in the hands of Cloak or Taylor, even though Cloak's <laughs> about 20 metres closer. <laughs> Pretty sure, I think, <laughs> after that last kick at Cloakies. Richmond 3-4. Collingwood three behinds. Cloak's kick for goal is good. Only three and a half minutes into the first quarter, and it's 28 points to three in favour of the Tigers. Stewart's been taken away from Taylor's down at full forward. Charging through was a near. Out comes Reigns, a hand pass. Back towards Reigns from Kane. Great football and the long striding, long kicking Reigns up to Clough, and it's another one, I think. Taylor, was it a goal? Yes, it's a goal. And that's Taylor's third. Teasdale, been a great player. Well done, Williams against Dunn, but he put his foot into him that time, and Williams is disagreeing, but Dunn, who still performs serviceably, takes the free kick. Sends it down where Cloak and Moore once again. Cloak, he almost won it. Punched away by McCormick. Waitman comes in, kicks it away from Moore. Moore's got the pace to keep with the midget, and does it. Ooh, and took one. Oh, another free kick at the back here. It's against Collingwood. Kink again is the... Uh... 
the man. And I think you'll find there'll be a free kick to go to Waitman. Shepherding badly. My word, the Collingwood defence needs some shaking up. Out to Roach. Picked up by Bartlett. Bartlett left foot snap. Back towards the goal square. Great leap there by Taylor. Picked up by Wells. Hand passes to Roach. Did he do it? He did. His only danger was to put his foot through. He was very conscious of the fact. And that was magnificent play by Welsh. And Roach gets his first goal for the match. And the Tigers are bolting away in the first turn. Richmond 48, Collingwood 16. Where are the Magpies going? Rain's handball over the top. Knocked out of the air by Miles. Jess outnumbered about two to one. Stewart leaves it for Shaw. Shaw breaks a tackle, runs goalwards, left foots it and has gold. Sixteen minutes gone, 48 points to 22 in favour of Richmond in the second quarter. And Graham Allen is the ball. He had no chance in the world of getting rid of it. And the umpire quite correctly will ball it up. So we'll start proceedings once more. Teasdale. Collingwood, probably their best player, gets the ball down the woods at half four line for the agency of Williams, but charging through here for the ball is Craig Davis. Gave the ball across to teammate, and that was in the person of Miles. It drives up towards the full forward position, and it's a chance off the ground to take off. Peter Moore for the first time on the ball. Cloak is there with him. Waitman boots it out, and underneath it, it's all the Tigers through Mervyn Kane. Kane plays on quickly, looking for a Roach lead, and Roach leads very well. Great mark. Oh, not held long enough. Well played, McCormack. McCormack on half back flank, boots it down. David Pope, chunk onto that big chest. <laughs> Little chip pass to Kane. He's really covering some territory. Good handball to Brian Wood. 55 metres from goal. Good kick. Not far short. Off the hands onto the goalpost. Eighteen minutes gone, and Richmond's lead is twenty one points in their second quarter. Never see more battling hard in the ruck now because Teasdale's carried him all day so far. It's his turn to do some good as Allen grabs the ball. Good play. Hand pass to Moore. Moore decides after all the hand pass it. He comes back to one here and he's out in the open. They're down into the forward line. Good play by Collingwood. And it might be a free kick. No play on. And we see the ball coming back here towards teammate Lovell. Lovell shoots a goal and it's another Collingwood goal. As Moore comes in, Cloak comes in to take care of him if he can. Down it comes and Dunn can't hold it. Picked up by Rollins, caught. Tackled by Lovell very strongly, it'll be bounced again. Moore coming in from his centre-half back position and Cloak from centre-half forward. Here comes Kink. Allen's got the chance. He's tackled by Waitman and beat. Waitman out cleverly to Welsh. Welsh to Wiley. While he has a look, he's beaten by McCormack, picked up by Roach. Roach should give it to Bartlett. Bartlett in trouble, goes up above his opponent, can't hold it. Picked up by Wiley, shoots for goal, off direction through for one behind. A forward move almost looked a good one. A little bit selfish then by Wiley because he had Taylor unmarked in the goal square. Game's taken a turnaround. Collingwood were looking a bit of a rebel, and they've kicked the last three goals. Beautiful kick by McCormack straight up the ground. It comes to Kink, who backs into Reigns and drops the ball. Welsh straight through the pack and straight left foots it. Chance for Roach. McCormack at the back. Goes through Atkin. Picked up by Roach. Hand pass to Taylor. Fourth goal. Well, is it or not? Touched. Oh, <laughs> no. Given a goal. Four goals to Brian Taylor. Jess towards the outer side. Dawkins thumps it forward. 
Chance for Collingwood. Dacos, 20 metres from goal, has kicked it. Well, minor revival here by Collingwood. Nine and a half minutes gone in this last quarter. Richmond yet to score a goal in this quarter. Collingwood have got three, but uh, Richmond still lead by 40 points as the ball comes down their half forward line. Bartlett circles, a left foot snap by Bartlett, and I think he's hooked it again. Oh, he's kicked one goal, six. Every picture tells the story. There's Kevin. Stewart. Reigns, two against him, almost taken by Dalkin. Crawling after Williams, picked up by Dalkin from that. He sent it down to the centre wing. Strawn misses it. Hand pass comes across to Dacos. Wham! Another head almost went off the shoulders, and the free kick will go to Peter Dacos against Martello. Dacos in between the wing and half forward flank. Fantastic kick. Ten metres short. Oh, Davis! And Collingwood's fourth goal in this final turn. Just over 11 minutes gone and four goals to Collingwood in this quarter, only behind the Richmond. 60,000 people smelling a comeback by the Magpie side, but they still trail by 35 points. And we see the ball bounced in the centre again. Teasdale, too early, picked up by Cloak. It's right out in the open spaces. Leading in the race for the ball is Pickin. He kicked it off the carpet. It bounced for him. He's got it. Bartlett grabbed him. He's still got it. Given plenty of time. And I think we'll find a free kick going to Rollins, number 22, for the Richmond side. Barry Rollins, who suffered a lot of unnecessary hard attention early. Stewart and Roach fly for it. Stewart, well done. Could have been played. Out it goes to pick and pick and a lightning hand pass. Lovett comes in, drives it wide looking for Shaw, and Mr. Jess takes a swallow like leap at it and marks beautifully. 14th kick for Jess to centre wing. Huge pack. Terry Smith in there, number 10, who'll be just about last to get up. Umpire Neville Nash. Well, it's 101 to 66. And Collingwood have scored all the goals in this quarter. Teasdale was right on the shoulders of David Cloak. Then Teasdale with arms akimbo saying, you're kidding. Free kick Cloak. Can't agree with that decision. And the ball came up here. Two Collingwood players got it now. The ball is finally picked up by Lovell. His kick is up there where Jimmy Jess is on Tony Shaw. Now I ask him. That's like David and Goliath. The kick is down towards the half forward line. And that's a good mark. This time we see Emmett Dunn marking it very well in the half forward flank. Long way out from goal. Taylor gave a lead, but it's a little bit too early because Dunn wasn't composed. This is his eighth mark, and now the short pass comes up and it's straight up from the Collingwood player, and that was pretty good work by Lovett. Lovett to centre half back. And suffers a 15 metre penalty as the man on his mark. Cloak, the leaper. Oh, behind it's Davis. Sends a very long one down towards that 10 metre square. A leap is unsuccessful there by Kane and retrieved by Landy, who's been a magnificent half back flanker. Collingwood were goalless in the third quarter, but in this quarter they've kicked four goals one, while the Tigers have managed only two behinds. Collingwood in attack. Teasdale to the back. Collingwood two to one. Should get the ball. Davis hooks for goal. It's through. Five goals in the quarter for Collingwood. At that stage, uh, they'd reduced the margin to 29 points. They edged as close as 26 points down in the final quarter, which was an amazing comeback, having trailed at one stage by 61 points, but eventually Richmond steadied and won it by 32 points, having led by 58 points at three-quarter time. For uh, uh, Richmond, Taylor kicked six goals, Cloak, Roach and Bartlett each kicked two, and for Collingwood, two apiece to Davis, Dacos and Allen. And the results...